Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything I found at the Goodwill Outlet Bins last week. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. <music> There was a bit of a situation at the bins last week. It was their 30% off sale, which I have never been to because, you know, I'm new to the bins this year. Well, what happens in my area on 30% off day, it's not just that you get 30% off your entire order. They actually took all the clothing bins out of the room and they replaced them all with houseware. So we're talking, it has to be like 40 40 to 50 bins of housewares and some books. And they were changing the bins every 30 minutes. So if you can picture what that was like, I did not film because like, it's intense. Like there were so many people there and people were like, wild. Like I've never seen the bins like this. Every 30 minutes, people are lining up for the new bins. It was just a lot. And so I did not film. I didn't want to miss the good stuff because I was filming. Um, I was focused in on vintage Christmas and I think I need to divide my haul up because I got so much stuff. I filled my cart, but I think I'm going to do an entire haul of just my vintage Christmas stuff that I found. So I think there's going to be extra hauls this week because otherwise I'm going to get behind on showing you what I have thrifted because I'm going to go to the bins again this week because I go every week. Um, so I'm probably going to have an extra haul video up at some point later in the week when I wouldn't normally. So keep an eye out for that. And I might do a third one of just Christmas. I'm gonna see how the timing works out on filming it. And then I, I already had some things um, that I hadn't gotten to show you from a different bins trip. So I need to show that to you today. And then I'll show you the first bit of the big bins haul. And then I'm gonna um, probably divide the rest of that bins haul into two more videos, I think. Also, on top of that, I have also received several packages. I missed a week of going to the post office. Things went on and I just didn't get there. So I actually had a lot of packages this week. So I'm going to show you some of them in this bins haul at the end and then some in the next bins haul. If you don't see your package, just wait because it'll probably, it'll turn up in a different haul. I'm just trying to get it all out there to you. So um, let's go ahead and start with this haul. I'm going to show you what I got from the bins prior to the 30% off day. And so these things I'm going to show you were $13 and 63 cents. So I got this and I don't know if I'll like clean it up, but I thought this might be pretty on a table for Christmas time, maybe with some Christmas balls in it. Oh, I'm not supposed to twirl. I was, it was requested of me that I hold things still longer. I'm trying. I'm trying to listen to you all, but you know, it's hard <laughs> because I'm a very like, go, go, go. I'm from New Jersey, remember? So I'm really trying to slow myself down. Okay. So here we go. This is the silver bowl. And here's the bottom. And I really like the um, edge. That really caught my eye. <sighs> I love this. I love this. There was only one of them. I think it's so cute. And it's just a little plastic Noel. And let's see, I think I saw that it says something. I think it says, yeah, 1995 Empire Industries made in China. And then there's a patent number. So oh, there, I have to hold it back so you can see the whole thing. So that was cute and very lightweight. I mean, it doesn't cost anything to get something like that at the bins. Then I got this, which I am giving to my friend Amy over at White Lab House. She loves cows and I found this for her. And I keep telling her I have it for her, but I haven't given it to her because I have to show it in a haul. <laughs> but it's so cute. It's a cow in the snow. And I think she'll really like that. She really likes black and white things. So she can use that on her tiered tray or whatever that she has. And I got this because I thought it would be useful. Um, I, is it meant to cut cheese? I don't know, but we like sliced egg sandwiches. So I thought I could use it for that. 
You could probably even use it to slice strawberries. I don't know. It just seems like useful. Nothing special. Oh, and I do have black on my fingernails still because I was using blackboard paint, chalkboard paint for my friend, for a project I'm doing for a friend. I mentioned that this weekend. So don't mind the black on my fingers. Okay, and then you might have seen this. Some of you saw this on Instagram like last week when I found it. It's heavy, but there was no way this was staying behind. <laughs> what? Even though I say it's heavy, it probably weighs like three pounds. So I still got it for like five bucks. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how much I, lo I love vintage scales in such a way and I cannot leave them behind. I think I have like five now. <laughs> I just keep picking them up. I could sell them. I'm not going to because I love them. My goal, I want to have a shelf out in my family room where I just have like a shelf up top and just have them lined up. I've seen people do that on Pinterest. On Pinterest. I just think it looks really cute. So I love this. It says Old Kentucky Home. Belknap Hardware and Manufacturing Company, Louisville, Kentucky. So yes, so that was very cool. Can't believe that was at the bins. I really can't believe that was at the bins. This is so cute. It's a, it's just a, the ABC of knitting. And it gives you different projects. But I mean, look at that picture. That is amazing. Is that the 60s, I guess, the early 60s? And here's a little, the triangle that you could make. And then it actually gives, gives you a whole bunch of instructions, which maybe I'll learn. I really just got it because I like the picture. So I thought that was cool. And then I got these two, which are so cute. They're kind of funky, funny looking, but they're cute. And they're made to hold candles. I thought those were cute. And they're not broken, so that's nice. Oh! I have one more thing and I actually have a question for you. I, okay, I found this. It's 1987, the Bicel Company made in USA. It's a die cut and it has the thingies like my turkey, but I don't understand what I'm supposed, like it doesn't attach to anything. Like I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. Do any of you understand what I'm supposed to do with this? Cause this is the hanging thing. So it hangs. Do they just like, am I just supposed to like open them up a little? But they kind of fling close. I guess maybe like that. Just like that. Is that right? I guess that looks sort of cool. Sort of normal-ish. I don't know. If any of you have any good ideas on what I'm supposed to do with his wings. Because usually, you know, you like open it up all the way and tape it or something. But I don't know. These just kind of hang out and close a little mostly. So. I don't know. I got it because I thought it was cute, but then I was like, what am I supposed to do with these wings? I don't know. So if any of you knows, you can let me know because I really don't understand. got this. I'll just hold this up for you. It's got things in it, but um, I thought this was really cute for springtime probably, or I could use it for Christmas time too, put florals in it or um, whatever. I could use it in my craft room if I wanted to for um, brushes and pens and things, but I already have things for that. Um, so I will probably use it for florals for like some sort of arrangement. But what it's holding are all the little ornaments that I found that day. All right, well, I got two like this, but one is missing. But he was cute. And then I got some wooden ornaments because you know I'm doing a little wooden ornaments tree. He's cute. His little drumsticks look like pearls. This is a little snowman playing cymbals. And he's a little cutie pie. Okay, I got two little mouse cutie pies. There's this one. And it's broken, um, but I found the handle, oddly. I can't even believe I found it, but... So it has this little piece and I'll just glue that back like that. And so he's just a little mouse in a basket. He's sleeping. Um, and then I got this one and he's jumping out of a walnut. I thought that was really cute. And it looks like he's been re-glued once before, but I will re-glue him again, probably with some E6000. That was really cute. I like mice. 
not in my house when they're alive, but I do like ornaments of them. <laughs> okay, and then I got this little cutie. This is um like Santa and an elf on a sleigh, sled, I guess, sleigh. And here's the back. And then I got her. Oh man, she is sweet. And she'll probably go in a wreath or something. Little girl in a nightgown. So cute. Now let's move into the first installment of the Wild and Crazy 30% off day at the bins. So I went, um, I took a little, I took a half day from work and I went in the morning and um, right as they opened and my friend Amy from White Lab House, who I mentioned before, met me there a little later on. Um, so we were finding stuff for each other all day. It was probably my favorite day of thrifting, like in a very long time. I had so, so much fun. Um, and there was just so, I mean, it was like a constant treasure hunt. If your bins ever does a 30% off day, I highly recommend going. Uh, this is one of the things that Amy found for me though. They're just these like little foam uh, placemats. I definitely had things like this when I was a kid. Um, I just think they're so pretty because they're strawberries. And I can see putting them out for a little luncheon if I have that in the summertime. I think that would be really lovely and a nice way to entertain. And then I found this basket. This was really pretty. It's darker stain. And if you see the nails, I don't know if you can tell, but they're like a copper color. I just thought it was really pretty and different. And it does not have a mark. But it's in very good shape. It doesn't stop. So that's always a good thing. I found this. And it's old. It says, um, made in occupied Japan. And it looks like royalty or like, I don't know, like, reminds me of like a king and queen or a, or a Victorian mom and dad, like wealthy mom and dad. I don't know. I thought it was very cool. And I'm going to use them in a, um, an, an assemblage with a Christmas tree and make it look um, really Victorian and fancy. I thought that would be really pretty. If I had little ones of children, that would be cute to have them like dancing around a Christmas tree or something. And you know, mom and dad are all stoic and the kids are being kids. I don't know, something like that. Tell a story with them, right? So I got those and they're not broken. And this, and I picked this up because it's actually really lightweight. And I'll either use it like this color for Christmas time for decor, um, it's just made in China, or I will paint it. I have a feeling I'm probably going to leave it this color, though. I, I like the color. It's a nice red. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a nice color red. I got, okay, so this is a funny story. I picked up, yeah, this is the one. So I picked up this tin. You know I love tea tins. Um, that's one of my things. And so I picked this one up. I was quite happy to find it. It is, um, the lid is broken, but I can reattach it. Like it's just the hinge is bent weird. So I just need to get that out and reattach it. So that was my find. But then Amy separately found this one for me. I thought that was so funny. They really look similar. So those are going to look nice together on a shelf. And with my tins, I keep them out all year and I just have them kind of lined up. My mom used to decorate and store things in tins. I think that's where I originally got it. That's like a very vague childhood memory of mine. But when I see tins, I always think of my mom. So I thought that was neat. And then what's in my hand, I'm running out of places to put things. Um, so I found this little guy, another little mouse. He's Homco. I have a feeling he's probably a set of three, but I only found one. So I thought that was cute. In the one that Amy found, it was full of cookie cutters. A whole bunch of cookie cutters and cookie stamps. It was so cool. So yeah, just a whole bunch of these. And then these tiny little, I guess they're like chocolate molds or something, butter molds. I don't really know exactly, but they're really cute. And I will be definitely using them in some way on maybe a little miniature Christmas tree. One of you had said um, using a, a Christmas tree in the kitchen. I think that's a fantastic idea. So here's a moon cookie cutter, which I don't have. So that was a cool addition, but there's a lot of them. I found this and it is chipped, but it's the only 
Holt Howard thing I've ever seen in the wild. It says Holt Howard 1959. It's broken in two places. So it's broken here, it's been repaired, and then it's chipped here. That probably happened at the bins if I had to guess, but that's fine with me. I didn't care because I know like D from Thrill of the Thrift always talks about Holt Howard. So I know it's definitely a thing, but I've never seen it. So I thought that was kind of cool to find that. And I have a little left in sled, I think, and a basket that sort of looks similar to this with the holly on the white. So I'm just going to put them all together and I think it'll look lovely and I don't care about the chip. Oh my goodness. I love this. It's so funny. So the funny story is that Amy has found one of these in the past without the box. Um, but this one's in a box. He is chipped, but that's fine. It's so funny. So it's this little Santa head. Let's see, this is where he's not chipped. He's cracked right there. But look, oh, it does work. I tried it there. There. Now, I don't know why you'd want a spinning Santa head, but something about it is kind of charming. <laughs> so there you go. I thought that was very cute. Now I've got it spinning. I'm going to have to turn the camera off so it stops. Okay, the spinning Santa has stopped making music, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got in my friend. Mail. So, um, one of the packages I got, it's from someone, she sent me things before, and I know she doesn't care if I open it on camera or not, but I did want to show you a highlight from that package. Oh my goodness, aren't these adorable? Holy cow, they are salt and pepper shakers, and I just about fell over when I saw them. I love Santas so much. So cute. Okay, so that was something that I got in a package with other goodies. It was a great package. Thank you very much. You know who you are. Okay. And then the next package I got, she asked me not to share her information online, but I will show you the treasure she sent me. And I had to open these ahead of time because each one was very carefully wrapped very tightly. And so I needed to do that carefully um, when I was not on camera. So I, the first thing I got is this. It says Bad Nor Bone China, England. And it's this little basket of flowers. So pretty. That is going to be gorgeous at springtime. But that was really pretty. Okay. And then she sent me two bird ornaments, which I adore. And these are not going to go on my Christmas tree. I'm going to set the, these going to go, these are going to go in my craft room decor so I can see them. But one is a cardinal. So this one's a cardinal, and then look, this one is a bluebird. Oh my goodness. Aren't these gorgeous? And they sit really nicely. Like, I can't show you here, but they sit really well on um, a, t a flat surface. So, and then she sent me this, which is so pretty. It's this really delicate little angel. And I'm going to use that in my crafting for sure. That was really pretty. And she's holding a candle. I got this little bunny. Oh my goodness. This is that Gobel, Gable, West Germany. Oh my gosh. So adorable. I don't know how to say that. Maybe one of you can tell me. But that was really cute. And then she was worried I might not like this because it's only a single salt and pepper shaker, but I don't mind that. I I rescue salt and pepper singles all the time from the bins. So I think he's so sweet, especially in this room. This is definitely going to stay in this room. I think it matches perfectly in the decor in here. So cute. Oh my goodness. All right. And then, oh, I love this. She sent me this little Holly Hobby egg. And it says, a true friend is the best possession. Oh my goodness, I just adore this. So cute. And then, you know, I love tiny things. Look at this little teeny tiny candle holder, I think. And it has like a rooster and a butterfly. And then there's little chicks chasing the butterfly. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Adorable. Just adorable. And then two little pictures. 
Aren't they sweet? So cute. And neither is marked. And then one last thing, and she was worried I wouldn't like it because the halo is broken, but she's going to go right in my collection with my angel that has a broken wing and my other angel that has a broken flower. And she's going to feel right at home because I just think she's darling. Isn't that adorable? And she has like a little crayon or pencil and some books. She's going to go color. What I love is that it says September angel and September 26th was my mom's birthday. So that is very cool to have something for September. So this will stay in this room with my other, I think my other two are January. Oh, I have, oh, look, <gasps> look, now I have July, which is my birthday and September for my mom. That is so cool. Maybe you meant to do that, but I didn't realize it when I opened it. So that's very cool. They're going to go right on the shelf together. The next few items are from a fellow YouTuber and thrifter. Her name is Stephanie and her channel is Thrifting Adventures. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely should. I'll link her below. She's super sweet. I've participated in challenges with her and she said she found a few items while she was out thrifting and thought of me. Now the nerdy crafty girl that I am though, when I opened the package and saw this, I was like, oh, <gasps> it's just crafting brushes, paint brushes, but I use these all the time. Stephanie, you hit the nail on the head with these. This is great. So thank you for these. And then she sent me adorable little things as well. This, I don't have anything like this. And it almost reminds me of, I guess it's for like jams. You know, you could do strawberry jam and grape jam or blueberry jam, I guess it would be in there. But it also, if I was a little girl, I would totally use this for my dolls. I remember like playing dolls with things like this. So I love it for that reason too. <laughs> and I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I thought that was adorable. And then she also sent me this little candle holder, which I adore. Oh my gosh, the colors. I love these colors. So cute. And that green, you know, that's that yellowy green that a lot of my uranium glass is. And then it's got strawberries on it. So this is going to look fantastic out in my living room. So thank you very much, Stephanie. The next item came from another YouTuber. Her name is Sandy Taylor Photography is um, her channel. And she's a photographer, but she's also an artist. And she makes like really cool jewelry and things Um I don't do that, but I love to watch her channel because she thinks in a way that I don't. And the things that she crafts are things that I never could. Like, it's just very cool stuff. And her photography is beautiful. But anyway, so she also loves to thrift. And she found this while she was out. Oh my gosh, peach lusterware. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the black and white with the orange. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to put this with my other lusterware so pretty. I left two packages to open on camera because it looked they weren't wrapped too tightly so there's two that I'm just going to open. I will not show you the addresses. This one um, comes from Maine. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. I see vintage Christmas linens. <gasps> it's an apron. Oh my gosh that's so cute. I love it. That is adorable. So, so cute. I will certainly be using this and hanging it up when I'm not using it. So thank you. That's awesome. Ooh, is this another one? Oh my gosh. It's, oh wait, it's stuck to the glue. Okay. Oh, look at that for springtime. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I love it. Look, it's reversible. What a smart lady made a reversible apron. That is really cool. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Oh my gosh, it's all apron, guys. Holy cow, no way. I feel like I just won on, uh, an auction on eBay. <laughs> I've looked at uh, lots of aprons. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love this. Holy cow, I love this. The camera is not picking up the color, but it's like a, I think it's like brown or purple gingham, I can't tell brownish purple it's really pretty and it's stitched at the bottom oh my goodness this is adorable and this one oh my gosh it has cats this is adorable for winter time holy cow this is so cute 
You see the cats on it? This is a nice heavy fabric. Very nice. Oh, and it's got polka dots at the top. So, oh, and buttons. Oh, that's so cute. I did not notice that. Adorable. <gasps> There's a Christmas one. Oh my goodness, I'm so pumped about all of these. I love them all. Oh, so cute. Can you see the stitching? Oh my goodness, these are so cute. And oh, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Look at the blue, I love blue. And the stitching on that is darling. So cute. Oh my goodness. I love these. These are adorable. Thank you so much. Okay. And the last package I'm going to open right here. She said she's, she was out while shopping and thought of me, thought I might like these. Okay. What well, feels like dishes. Oh my gosh. Holly Hobby pattern green girl. These are so It must be a set because I think there it looks like there's more. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to pause the camera and open them and then I'll show them all to you. Okay. I got them all unwrapped. It's actually four of the same. I love them. She's in this green dress in each one. I think they're so pretty. And I, while I was unwrapping them, I noticed... Look how perfectly they go with these two little pictures that someone else sent me. These two little pictures that I got. Oh, I don't want to break anything, but look how great all of these colors work together. So I'm definitely going to use these in my master bedroom in a little vignette. I'm super excited to set them up. I just put up new shelves in my master bedroom, so but I haven't decorated them yet. So this is definitely going to go down there on those new shelves because I'm doing all like green and whites down there and grays. So, okay. So that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for these packages, for these wonderful gifts. I always treasure everything that I get. Thank you so much for going through the trouble of wrapping things and the the expense of sending me things. I really, really treasure these things. And thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry the video got a little long today. Um, they're just going to be a little long while I get through these big bins hauls um, just because of that 30% off sale. So look for another video sometime later in the week and then probably another one after that where I'll do all of my vintage Christmas stuff that I found because it's a lot. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.